um, in the morning. We left by, I wanna say 4 a.m. and drove like two to three hours to Manila. So it's 8.40 right now. Before we went to the Manila Cathedral for Santiago, we sat a little bit in mass because right after the mass was over, we were able to get up and like roam around before they opened it to the public. And there was this woman who, while mass was going on, literally got up, took a selfie in the middle of the church while the priest was doing a prayer like she literally went and like the priest was there when it came to get like the bread she wanted to take it with her like she didn't eat it she just like kept it to herself and at that point the people like the security was like asking her to leave because they already told her off about taking a selfie in the middle of mass but I think she just started saying that they were rude and all of that, but then mass ended and then she just was asking people to take her photos. You can literally see it, see her in the video. She's wearing her green skirt. So if you see her, that was her. We're waiting to get our coffee and pastries and then we're gonna go to Casa Manila. And I wanna take some pictures so hopefully it doesn't get too crowded and hopefully the photos turn out good.
another one. So, pag pinatay mo natin, mamang iilaw mo na like 9 40 a night we just got back i think we left by six and there was a lot of traffic manila traffic there were some places that i had listed down that we ended up just not going for the sake of time we got to manila by like 6 30 we left at 4 a.m there was so many middle schoolers and high schoolers they just were all on a field trip and then when we went to fort santiago like all the intramural places or muros that's where the field trip was so we went to like the manila cathedral they were there we went to fort santiago they were there we went to casa manila they were there they were everywhere i could not escape them to save my life and when we went to fort santiago I corner my eye, I see like a group doing some TikTok dances in the corner. Intramurals took like two hours, but that was kind of the main thing that I wanted to see in Manila. So I'm kind of happy that I got to experience that. And after Intramurals, we went straight to Ayala Mall to do the the photo Luck Bay Museo. It was definitely interesting, to say the least. I found that on TikTok, by the way. The one thing that I was looking for was the Toho. <laughs> and because I saw it on the TikTok and I was, I thought that was really funny because literally the first day in the Philippines, in, in my vlog, there was a guy selling Toho. So I thought it was gonna be funny if I took a photo with the Toho thing, but I couldn't find it anywhere. But it turns out 
they just painted the buckets because go back to the other video like i guess the actual people who sell toho they have metal like the buckets are gray but in the museum they painted it because on the tiktok that i saw from the museum there was a girl with the toho and it was like the authentic um gray like metal bucket like it wasn't painted at all and i saw the painted buckets i was like that's not it like that's not it it's probably somewhere else but no it was they just painted it so there was this guy who works there who kind of i want to say followed us but he like every stop he like took photos for us um which was really nice i'm not sure if like their job is to i guess guide people throughout the museum and take photos for them because there was girls in the other stations that like only worked their station and that was it but i think because there wasn't a lot of people like he just like decided to follow us and like take photos for us by the time we were towards the end of the whole museum and we waited for the show we asked him about the Toho thing and he actually went back and got the Toho buckets and brought it to us. So that was pretty nice of him. It was funny because it just, every time I tried to lift it, like it just, it just kept breaking. Then after that, we went straight to the Venice Canal Mall because it was going to be like a 30, 40 minute drive depending on Manila traffic. It was interesting to experience the Venice Canal Mall, you know, I want to go to Venice, I've been Italy, but Venice, one of the top cities that I want to visit. I wanted to go because, you know, there's a gondola, there's the canal, um, my cousins went there when they went to Manila, so I wanted to go too. The gondola ride was good, I don't know what I was expecting, but like, you know, it was good, the the person who was steering us was really nice. He only talked in Tagalog, so I didn't really know what they what he was like saying to them, but from what I was hearing, he was very interactive, funny, charismatic, all of that. And he was telling about like the Venice Mall overall and like I, I don't want I wouldn't say the history, but just like just more information on the mall um i found it very interesting that on the mall like you know there's the names of the restaurants and stuff but then there was just random words in italian on the wall like on the mall one of them said my name like literally says mi chiamo which is like my name another one was like what is your name which I, I found that very odd. I don't know. And then while I was on the gondola ride, I made eye contact with like one of the characters. There's people that are dressed up as like random things throughout the mall. I don't know how to describe it. I don't know if they're like Mardi Gras or like a clown or what. Like I saw Thanos and SpongeBob and, and Bumblebee like all in Venice Canal Mall. But I made eye contact with like a jester and it like waved like this and then it went like this to me while i was on the gondola ride i have never been more terrified in my life i was really that gave me the chills what'd you think of today oh it's not fun it's nice you have fun huh? i hope so and then after the gondola ride we went to chow king we got Hello, hello. After the Venice Canal, it was already around like five or six. So we decided to head home and it brings us to right now. Overall, it was a lot of fun. I think there was times where I was definitely overwhelmed. And I think it was just because of all these little like middle schooler and high schoolers. First intramurals, like those two, like those two hours, I was so like overwhelmed with the amount of people. That was basically it this video and i'm gonna go take a shower because from literally two hours into our trip i was already just drenched in sweat because it was just so hot but i hope you enjoyed this video and maybe i'll see you in the next one subscribe
do all of that. That's it, so bye-bye.